Hi there. I just spent the last five minutes bailing out the cockpit of my rowboat here. Unfortunately, we've had a fair amount of rain over the past week, and the tarp I've had covering the boat over the winter just didn't hold up. So, I'm going to make a boat cover, and I'll show you how I do that step by step. My name is Sean Moyer, and this is Spin Cycle Rowing, the channel devoted to my attempt to row the Chesapeake Bay. So, I'm going to get up, gear up, fit up, and row the bay. And I encourage you to follow along, and if it interests you, please hit subscribe, and we'll get to making this cover in just a moment. Hey, welcome back. So uh, I took some measurements off of the boat and then I ordered some fabric online. I used Sailrite and I'll put a link down below. The fabric that I opted to get was this navy blue marine grade Sunbrella. Sunbrella is an acrylic fabric that has a number of attributes that make it good for the boating industry. It doesn't shrink and it doesn't stretch and it's a soft fabric, so it lays and holds its shape pretty nicely. It's mildew, ultraviolet, and water resistant, which, <laughs> you know, protect the boat from the elements. Uh, it's easy to sew. Now, the only downside to Sunbrella is it's a little more expensive than some of our other fabric choices, but it's probably a better value in that we'll only have to sew one of these for the next several years. Um, I'm going to strike some cut lines and some seam allowances. I'll cut the fabric out and I'll lay it up on the boat and see how she fits. And then I'll see you in the next segment. The one thing I didn't do was uh, account for the outrigger. And I did that on purpose. It just seemed to include it would require a fair amount of uh, additional sewing and I don't think for uh, the few minutes it takes to take it off it was really worth it. Alright, the only thing I have to do now is uh, remove the bolts and we'll lay out the fabric. Well, hey there. I'm uh, just stitching a flat felt or semi flat felt seam, I should say, uh, into each side of the fabrics and joining four pieces of fabric together. The semi flat felt seam is a waterproof seam. Uh, it's pretty strong and uh, it does not use a whole lot of seam material. Um, I'm going to put a link to the semi flat felled seam tutorial on Sailrite because they do a much better job of explaining it than I would. Um, but I'll stitch these up and then we'll go lay her out in the boat and see how she looks. notice uh, a few differences from the last time we were working on the boat. There's two plastic slats which are meant to keep the cover out of the cockpit. So if there's a uh, water, rain, or snow that causes a load, it's not just going to dip down here and collect. The idea actually uh, came from my friend Tom G who not only came up with the idea, but donated the materials used to make it. All of the material is King Starboard, which is a high density polyethylene sheet, which can be worked like wood, but it's resistant to UV, mildew, and mold. Uh, so it's a great material for 
for boating applications. Anyway, I will uh, bring the camera a little closer, show you what uh, we did here, and then uh, we'll take some measurements for the cover. Okay, now you can see these slats basically just slide into this slot, which was made up of a U-shaped piece of starboard and the bottom of the gunnel. The board was just bolted to the side of the boat and was capped off with a plastic screw cap over the head of the bolt. So now when we put the cover over the boat, you notice that it's a nice gentle slope and not a dip. So what I'm going to do is remove the cover, put some double-sided tape on the boat, and then put uh, some seam stick or basting tape to allow the, uh, the cover to stick to it so we can uh, draw some lines on it for what we're going to remove and what we may end up putting darts into. Okay, so I put a simple seam in the uh, bow of the boat uh, to hold the cover taut while I uh, work with it. And you'll see a blue line uh, down at the bottom of the uh, second uh, side panel. And that blue line is painter's tape. Uh, and then I'm going to stick a little bit of uh, seam tape or basting tape on top of that, which is just a double-sided tape to hold the canvas in place while I uh, scribe a line to cut the excess canvas off. Okay, next step. I'm going to be adding this one-inch Sunbrella binder to the edge, or all cut edges, of the boat cover. It's the same material that's in the boat cover, and it just gives a nice clean edge uh, to the fabric. So you can see I created two darts along the back portion of the uh, boat cover uh, along the transom here and then I cut the uh, leftover fabric and ran a cut a whole way down to where it joins with the first panel. Uh, I then added this border to the boat cover and uh, it finished it off. So here we are at the boat cover, and I've added a series of fasteners here. Uh, so I brought the cover inside, and I've made a mark as to where I want to put the buckle loop, which basically is just like this loop, a small amount of webbing put through the fastener. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this webbing and then stitch it like this particular piece of webbing was stitched, which is uh, a box with an X in it. Again, I will uh, put a link to the Sailrite um, tutorial on that type of stitch, just because they do a far better job of uh, demonstrating it than I would. Once I'm done with that, we'll just move over to the other side, and I will stitch another box stitch on a longer piece of webbing and put that fastener on. Okay. Looking good.